I'm at home, you're at home, so why not pass the time together with a little history lesson. I'm talking about the 2015 Easter Classic at the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Ever wonder what it's like to surf bells? Four-time event winner Kelly Slater knows. They talk about four seasons in a day. It goes from hot to cold, offshore to onshore. On a really good day, it can look similar to maybe uh, Jeffrey's Bay with that hard offshore wind and a low tide. You have to be ready for pretty much anything there. WSL Rewind is live every Wednesday through Friday on WorldSurfLeague.com. Ring that bell. John John Florence has been working with master shaper John Pizel for the better part of the last 22 years. And in a recent YouTube drop, they get a chance to chat from a safe distance about some of John's go-to boards, including the Ghost and the Shadow. The Ghost just likes to be a little bit of a smaller volume board. Because people think of like, oh, I need this much volume to paddle good, but it has so much to do with the design of the board, how it paddles too. Yeah. Like if you have a ton of rocker, you're gonna need more volume because you're pushing water as you paddle. Well, pre-lockdown, Jordy Smith was on an absolute tear. In the latest episode of O'Neill's Strike Missions, Jordy hosts Ian Crane and Soli Bailey on an overland excursion at home in South Africa. I think we've really come on this trip with an open mind of not expecting too much and not having our expectations set too high. It's just to kind of take it every day as it comes and, and really just enjoy what's out there in, in that moment and uh, have fun with it. Got some great news. Von Froth is back, and this time this Portuguese big wave rider absolutely scores a hell slab near home. Tom Lowe, Russell Bierke, and Federico Moraes also score some bombs in one of the most memorable slab sessions of the year. Oh, fun, man. It feels so good. Share some slabs again, get some barrel back to the roots. And it just feels amazing to come back to my, my home spot, place that gave me everything in surfing the good and the bad moments and uh, share with a bunch of boys. So for more about Bell's Beach, John Florence's boards, Jordy Smith's full edit, and Von Froth, go to worldsurfleague.com. Well, with the whole world on hold right now and hundreds of surf communities out there in need of support, the WSL has just launched a new campaign, hashtag stay local. From new boards to coffee shop credits, the WSL is matching every dollar spent by tour surfers who support their local shops. WSL asked to think about our local business that myself and Ashley love going to. And I want to come and buy a thousand dollar gift voucher um, for future spends. And with doing that, WSL wants to also add $1,000 as a gift. For more information on Stay Local, go to WorldSurfLeague.com. Do you feel like watching some classic Kelly? Or a fully informed Mick Fanning? Or perhaps Steph and Sis going head-to-head -head at the Easter Classic? Well, now you can with WSL Rewind as we revisit the 2015 Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Well, if those quarantine blues are really starting to set in, never fear. Our friends at Vans have just the answer for you. Tanner Gadowskis, Dylan Graves, and Leanne Kern will be going live to chat about music and Dylan's Weird Waves series. You can watch it all go down on Vans socials or check it out on Vans.com. For more on the Bells Bowl, hashtag stay local, and Weird Waves, go to WorldSurfLeague.com. Alrighty, the newest episode of All In Life on the WSL Championship Tour just dropped. And seven-time world champ Stephanie Gilmore breaks down her competitive mindset going into the 2019 Maui Pro Final. While Japan's Kanoa Igarashi tunes up his equipment heading into the Pipe Masters. You can watch it right now on WorldSurfLeague.com. Jack Robinson has a new edit out and it showcases just how incredibly talented the West Dawes local is. And FYI, these are clips that didn't make the cut for his part in Snap 4. We caught up with a championship tour rookie to see how he's been spending his days right now. I don't, I don't know if we're going to get shut down because everyone's sort of doing the right thing. So I'll just keep surfing and then I'm not going to go anywhere until they figure all this out. I've done a few trips for the, for the section, but a lot of the clips will be all over the world from Hawaii to a bit of Tahiti, West Oz. 
and hopefully some indoor stuff, but I'm just going to stay here so probably the next few months, I reckon. If we get some good swells here and we get to keep surfing, that'll be lucky for us. Julian Wilson is focusing on the positives during this current break in the action. Spending more time with his family, he's getting his routine dialed and still getting in the water when he can. It's actually been pretty cool to get a bit of a routine and not feel like I have to do a hundred things in a day. While I can, I'm connecting with the ocean, getting my surfs in and just looking after the family. Nobody can rock dance quite like Mason Ho. Breaking out his new lost Hydra Fish at home on the North Shore of Hawaii, where surfing is still permitted, his latest video drop showcases his unique talents perfectly. For our exclusive interview with Jack Robinson and more on these stories, you know what to do. Cruise on over to worldsurfleague.com. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.